the beautiful Carnival Mardi Gras deck by deck ship tour. That's what this video is about and it's all coming up. <music> Okay, we are going to give you a deck by deck tour of the Carnival Mardi Gras. And what we've tried to do in this video is not just show you all the areas of the ship, but we've tried to give you some pointers along the way and maybe even include you in a little bit of our fun. So sit back, grab a drink, grab a snack, and let's get ready to explore this beautiful ship. Deck number 19 has a section both on the front of the ship and also on the back of the ship. Let's start with the front. On the front of the ship, deck number 19 has loft 19. Now loft 19 is an amazing area to hang out. There is an additional charge, but let's go check out some of that and uh, show you all around. Now these are the cabana areas um, that are extra charge. So one thing to keep in mind, if in fact you are going to book a cabana on Loft 19, and that is, think about the privacy area because these particular cabanas, numbers 10 through 12, you are not gonna have a whole lot of privacy with these. You're basically looking directly across from Loft 19 hot tub, and then directly down below you, you have the Serenity Deck pool. So, if you decide to book a cabana on Loft 19, just keep that in mind. That's a hot tub. <laughs> okay, so look, correction with that, there actually is no pools here on Loft 19, but there is some actually really large hot tubs. But when you step out of that hot tub, you sort of want to rinse off. And so Kelly, I think you should go ahead and demonstrate the massive Loft 19 shower. Actually, I would be careful. Pull that string and let it rip, baby. But uh, but anyway, this is amazing. Look, I'm gonna turn this around. Look at this hot tub and the views out here. Look. Okay, so we are walking towards the front of Loft 19, and I really like this area up here. Uh, it's gonna be straight sun, there is no shade up here, but it's got some great views looking out to the front of the sea. To the front of the sea, right? That's what we're looking at. <laughs> Don't jump, Kelly! Don't do it! Oh. I might! I might! I might! That's my greatest horror. The idea of falling off a ship in the middle of the ocean. So is there a bar area here at Loft 19? Here in Loft 19, we don't have a bar because we have a bar server who's uh, attending our guest. We have a QR code in one of the cabanas that the guests just have to scan to uh, access the menu. And then the bar steward or bar server will just come to pick up the order. Awesome, oh, thank perfect. you so much. Thank, thank you. you. There are two main things to do on the aft part of deck number 19. The first of those is the ropes course. And the ropes course is amazing. First of all, it's absolutely free. You simply come up some stairs, you go through the line, you check in with the attendant, you get suited up in your harness, they give you a little safety briefing and you are on your way to have the time of your life. So one of the very cool things about the rope course here on the aft part of deck number 19 is that as you're going around, you do have an option to get a little bit of an extra thrill. You can go across just a normal kind of wood bridge kind of uh, area on one section or you can choose another way where you sort of do a little bit of a zip line out over the ocean so uh, a lot of people we've been watching do that they're having a great time so hey some added thrill as you're sailing out here in the middle of the sea the second thing you could do here on the app part of deck number 19 is the bolt ultimate sea coaster let's go check it out um it was super easy to book actually you just go on the, to the carnival hub app you select the day and the time that you want to ride it's $15 per person and then you just show up at your at your appointment time now if for some reason you can't make your appointment time do know that you do need to cancel your ride two hours prior to your appointment time or you will be charged for that appointment so right now I am just sitting in this nice little cabana area directly by the bolts just waiting for my appointment time Let's talk about the height and weight restrictions. So in order to be able to ride the bolt, um, you have to be a minimum height of four feet, four inches, and you cannot be taller than six feet, 
five inches. Now they do also have a rate, weight restriction of 300 pounds and on the sign it does say that before you can get on the bolt there will be a crew member there verifying, checking that you do in fact meet the height and the weight restrictions. All right, our appointment time is getting so close. I am so excited to ride. The thing took off. I really did not expect it to go that fast. Now we're gonna cover deck number 18 on the Carnival Mardi Gras. Deck number 18 on the Carnival Mardi Gras also has a section on the front of the ship and a section on the back of the ship. On the front of the ship, there is two different things. The first of those is the Serenity Deck. Now, the Serenity Deck is adult only, and it is just filled with all kinds of great places to lounge. You have cabanas, you have pool chairs, you have even beds out there, but it is super relaxing, great views of the ocean. You can get shade or you can get sun. The second thing you have on deck number 18 forward is Fresh Creations. Fresh Creations is a salad bar. It's located out on the Serenity Deck next to the Serenity Deck pool. And whether you're just hanging on the Serenity Deck or whether you just got that great salad at Fresh Creations, if you need some cold refreshments, there is a bar located there next to Fresh Creations and there by the pool on the Serenity Deck. One thing important to know about the front part of deck number 18 is that you do have some lounging areas that connects with the Lido deck, right? So this is not part of the Serenity, but plenty of places here for you to lay out in the sun or to enjoy all the entertainment going on around the pools of the Lido deck. On the aft part of deck number 18, you will find four primary things. The first thing you'll find is the sports court. Here you have a basketball court. It's also set up to do soccer, but a lot of different stuff going on there. The next thing you have is the jogging track. Now the jogging track, if you do seven laps, that equals one mile. It's a good space to walk. I'd say it's probably a little difficult for actually jogging or running because it is a very narrow path. Really probably only one person could fit on the jogging track at a time. And when you have all that pedestrian track because it's so narrow coming around the ultimate playground at all times, you're constantly going around individuals and stuff like that. So probably mostly walking. But the third thing you have is waterworks. They have some amazing slides here on the Carnival Mardi Gras. Great place to splash and have fun. So one really important note about waterworks. In the general area, there are very few chairs around. So if you're a parent and you wanna come and keep a, a lookout on your kids, uh, you might wanna get here early because there's really just about 20 chairs or so. And then finally they have putt-putt golf there on the back of deck number 18. This putt-putt golf course has a great vibe. Definitely the vacation vibe. You feel like you're on a remote island paradise. Then off the back of the ship, you've got some little pools and stuff like that. And then you just sort of see off into the, the great blue back here off the back end of the Carnival Mardi Gras. But hey, putt-putt golf, it's looking great. Now we're gonna cover deck number 17 on the Carnival Mardi Gras. On the front part of the ship, it is staterooms. On the middle part of deck number 17, you have the second level of the Lido deck. So from there, you're able to catch all the action going on pool side of the Lido. There's also all kinds of places there on the middle part of deck 17 where you can hang out in the sun. There's plenty of lounge chairs and things of the sort. You also have a Red Frog Tiki Bar there on the middle part of the ship. And that's where you often have a DJ is out there cranking it, keeping the action going there on the Lido. Then you have four different kinds of activity on the aft part of deck number 17. The first of those is the warehouse arcade. Let's go inside and check it out. The second area I want to mention here on the back side of deck number 17 is the Circle C. Now the Circle C is special for the younger cruisers ages 12 to 14. So they can check in there and they have all kinds of activities that are appropriate for their age. They get to hang out with friends. So uh, those aged 12 to 14 love to hang out there. Next on the aft part of deck number 17 is one of everyone's favorites. It is Guy's Burger Joint. This is arguably the best burger on the seas. Let's go check it out. like the 
this area on the Carnival Mardi Gras. Um, this is a super big area compared to uh, most guys' burger areas, and I really like the feel. It's all covered. And another really great thing is, is there's fans blowing everywhere, so you stay nice and cool while you're still able to look out at the ocean and enjoy the wonderful views. So I don't know if you guys know this or not, but Guy's Burger and Fries is actually open for breakfast. So if you're really craving a hamburger at, say, 7 in the morning, well, on the Carnival Mardi Gras, you can come up and get you a burger. And then here on the aft part of deck number 17, you also find Club O2. Club O2 is an area that is special for teenagers aged 15 to 17. I've seen them sort of streaming in and out of that, sort of as I've been filming the other areas around the ship today. And uh, so, hey, they are loving that. Great place for them to hang out. Now we're going to continue walking back here on the aft part of deck 17 to go to the very back of the ship. I want to show you that. So this is the other area I wanted to show you on the back of deck number 17. You have all these great loungers that you can just chill out in. There's plenty of shade overhead, but you still all around you at your left, your right, and also off the back of the ship, you can see the ocean. It is beautiful. Okay, let's talk about deck 16. Now on the front part of deck 16, you have staterooms. In the middle part of deck 16, that's where a lot of the action is. Since deck 16 does have the main Lido pool area there, of course you have tons of great seating. There's some tucked in a little bit where you get a little bit of shade, but a lot out there where you're in the sun, you also have, you know, you can get in the pool, enjoy every bit of that. If you want to drink, need some refreshments, they have the Red Frog Tiki Bar is located right there. You also have some great eats. Let's talk about each of those. Let's start with the Blue Iguana Cantina. That has become one of mine and Kelly's favorite places to eat. If you like having a good taco, if you like having a good burrito, if you like to enjoy a salsa bar, look, they have every bit of that there and the food is absolutely delicious. And then let's talk about the Seafood Shack. The Seafood Shack is great seafood. Now it's not included in the cost of the cruise, so there is a little charge with that, but it is great seafood right there, convenient to the Lido. So they have lobster, crab, peel and eat shrimp. I don't know. What should we get? They have they have oysters. I I don't know. I just can't do oysters. What do y'all think? Do y'all like oysters? Drop a comment. No. Yeah. Drop a comment. <laughs> Drop a comment in the comment section below. I don't know. <laughs> and then there is Street Eats. And the Carnival Mardi Gras is the first cruise ship ever to have Street Eats. And I got to tell you, we are on day number two of this cruise at the time of filming this. And that place has already become one of mine and Kelly's favorite places to eat. You see, Street Eats isn't just one little place where you can eat. It's actually got three different places. The first place is Time Fries. And each day they have a different group of fries with certain sort of topping that they have available for you to come by and pick up and uh, eat. And every day, we had it yesterday, we had it today, it's been amazing each day and I'm already looking forward to eating time fries tomorrow. The next option at Street Eats is every bit as good and it is called Steam Dream. And it's exactly what it sounds like. It is steamed food and just like time fries, Steam Dream has a different item available each day. They have it posted what it is on a menu out there you go by. They serve you up a fresh dish of that and hand it to you. It is absolutely delicious. The third and final option available with Street Eats is called Mad Sizzle. It is saute food. And just like Time Fries and just like Steam Dream, you have different food available each D with Mad Sizzle and it is delicious food. When you come to deck 16 aft, you come to Lido Marketplace. Lido Marketplace is one of the favorite places for cruisers to enjoy breakfast, lunch, or dinner. There is plenty of indoor seating and lots of wonderful food. When you come to the very back of deck 16, you come to a wonderful place to hang out. When you get out there, you have Shaq's Big Chicken. This is a wonderful place to take in some grub. They have chicken biscuits that are absolutely to die for for breakfast. They have chicken sandwiches for lunch. It's, it's absolutely wonderful. Another thing about Shaq's Big Chicken that I absolutely love, it's right next to the ice cream machine. <laughs> Also, right across from Shaq's Chicken, there's also Tide's Bar, which is right here. And then, as Kelly has pointed out, there is the ice cream right next to that. But something I think is amazing, a very cool feature uh, that we have here on the back side of Shaq's Chicken. Let me orient you a little bit. I'm going to spin around. 
Shack Chicken is right back there. You've got the Tide Bar is here. Ice cream there, but right off the backside here, you have a wonderful pool. So check that out. It's looking directly off the ship. You've got uh, hot tubs on each side that you have. So gorgeous out here. Amazing. So deck 15 all the way down through deck nine, all of those floors are staterooms. Deck number eight on board the Carnival Mardi Gras, let's talk about what you'll find there. On the front part of the ship on deck eight, it is all staterooms. When you move to deck eight mid, you come to the top level of the Grand Central Zone on board the Carnival Mardi Gras. The first place you'll come to is the Chebang restaurant. The Chebang is a wonderful place to eat. It offers both Chinese and Mexican cuisine. Kelly, what are you doing down there, girl? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> well, I think she's like trying to get out of my shot or something, so she's like bowed down behind the table here. Actually, I am getting ready to lay down on the job again. If you are on the Carnival Mardi Gras, wherever you're at, make sure that you look up because every ceiling is absolutely amazing. And next you come to the Havana Bar. Let's go check it out. If you are booked in a Havana stateroom, you have special access to the Havana pool area. We're gonna go out and show you that right now. To even get out to the pool area, you're gonna have to have a wristband. Um, and I'm assuming they're gonna give that to you during check-in. booked a Havana balcony um, there is access from your balcony cabin straight to the pool by using this little door right here next you come to dream studio dream studio is an amazing place where you can come to book an appointment to have a great photo shoot and as you keep walking you'll come to a little bridgeway and that's when you get your first glimpse of the Grand Central Theater this thing is amazing. I love the fact it has glass on the back wall so you can actually see out into the ocean as you're going through this area. You get to come out here and walk around the Grand Central Theater. You have these great sitting areas and then you also begin to run into some great places to eat and also shopping. Let's check those out. The first amazing place you'll come to to eat is Tapanayaki. If you want a great dining experience, this is the place for you. At Tapanayaki, a few things are guaranteed. One, you're gonna have some great food. Number two, you're gonna make some great friends with those around you and you're gonna get a great show. No, Kelly, not you. Kelly's not gonna be the one putting on the show, flipping up some things, but they will have somebody that is skilled in doing that that will hook you up. And then as you continue in the Grand Central Zone, you'll come to the next great dining experience and that is Bonsai Sushi. If you like sushi, Bonsai Sushi is the place for you. They also have plenty of seating and they even have an outside area. Let's go check that out. As you keep walking on 8 mid here in the Grand Central Zone, you next come to some shopping opportunities. First there is Front Street Watches. And then as you continue on, the next thing you come to is Pixel Gallery. Now one cool thing here on the Carnival Mardi Gras is you can also check out your photo gallery that's available on the TV in your stateroom. But if you prefer to check out your photos right here in the Pixel Gallery, I didn't get an exact count, but went around and just uh, did a general count. There's something like 70 different consoles, little kiosk here, where you can check the photos right here in the Pixels Gallery on Deck 8 Mid. After Deck 8 Mid, when we come to the aft part of Deck 8, we move into the La Piazza Zone. There's four main things that are located in La Piazza, and we're gonna share with you information about each of those. Cucina del Capitano serves Italian cuisine. They have pizza, pasta, soup, all kinds of wonderful Italian food. They are open every day for breakfast, they are open for lunch on sea days, and they are open for dinner every day. Now this restaurant is complimentary on the Mardi Gras only. Now inside Cucina del Capitano, there is a great vibe. It's beautiful all around. There's also some seating outside. Let's go outside and check that out. What do you think? 
I love this place. We're coming back here for dinner, right? Yes. Yay! Piazza Panini is located in the La Piazza section on deck eight near the aft of the ship. And it's open from noon all the way until 11 p.m. So if you like some good Italian cuisine, this is a great opportunity to come here and enjoy it here. They have a lot of sandwiches, things like grilled cheese. They have Rubens, they have tuna sandwiches. They even have hot dogs. They obviously have a lot of variety of paninis. And you can even get some great desserts. So if you love cannoli, they even have things like roasted banana, all kinds of scrumptious desserts. The Pizzeria del Capitano is located on deck eight aft here on the Carnival Mardi Gras. That is the La Piazza zone. When you come here to get pizza, they have five different varieties available. They also usually have some that are already prepared. So if you want to just show up, grab a piece of pizza real quick and head on your way, you can do that. And also one of the best things about the Pizzeria del Capitano is it is open 24 hours with delicious Italian cuisine. And there's plenty of great seating inside and out. A lot of people like to take a stroll through La Piazza. I personally, I like to take a ride. How do you start this thing? Babe, I think it's like the bolt. You just throttle and hit the boots. It's still not working. I have never been a fan of foreign vehicles. Once you move through the La Piazza zone here on deck eight aft, you come to one of the most amazing dining experiences on the seas, and that is Rudy Sea Grill. Rudy Sea Grill has become one of Kelly and I's favorite places to eat on board the Carnival Mardi Gras. Just past Rudy Sea Grill, you come to Carnival Adventures. This is where you can book an excursion to have a wonderful time at your next port of call. Just past Carnival Adventures, you come to Guest Services. Here on the Carnival Mardi Gras, they have an amazing and friendly staff to help you with any questions that you may have. And just past Guest Services, you come to the very, very back of deck number eight. And there you'll find Summer Landing. Summer Landing is another one of the six special zones on board the Carnival Mardi Gras. And the centerpiece of it is Guy's Pig and Anchor Restaurant. You get that great barbecue flavor. Now the actual place where you get the food is off on the side here of Summer Landing. But in the middle part, there's all kinds of amazing seating. Kelly and I love hanging out there because the environment is great. With the flooring, everything, it just seems like the kind of place you want to hang out forever. And also, if you want a nice beverage while you're there, there is a Flavor Town Bar. You can grab a drink. They have a place where they often have live music. Great place to hang out. So connecting into Pig and & Anchor is the Heroes Lounge. This is an awesome lounge area. They've got tons of comfortable seating, a huge big screen TV, and one of my favorite parts, they have an ice cream machine. <laughs> <laughs> you better be ready, it comes out fast. <laughs> Another great place to hang out on Summer Landing is the Watering Hole. The Watering Hole is located on the side of the ship. They have a great place there, a bar where you can grab a drink. They also have a few hot tubs and some great seating. The Watering Hole is a great place to hang out. But we do have one tip for those that hang out on the patio or for those that are in those hot tubs out on the side of the pool next to the Watering Hole. And that is, be aware that you are not alone. <laughs> <laughs> Kelly and I, we have a balcony room overlooking the hot tubs, and I do have to say, we have seen things that we really did not want to see. And the same is true in that pool in the back of the pool. You have balconies looking at everything, so just be aware of that. And, uh, and perhaps the favorite area of Summer Landing is the patio. It is the pool area in the very back of the ship overlooking the ocean it's fabulous the depth of the pool is four foot seven inches but they also have a shallow part where you can just put your feet in they have several loungers that you can lounge in the pool area they have lots of seating both coverage for in the shade and in the sun so it's a great place to hang out that brings us to deck number seven like the other floors we'll start at the very front of the ship and work our way towards the back so let's talk about what you'll discover on deck number seven. At the very front of deck number seven, you find the Mardi Gras Theater. This is an absolutely amazing venue where you're gonna enjoy some super shows while you're on board the Carnival Mardi Gras. As you're working towards the rear of the ship here on deck seven mid in the Grand Central Zone, the first thing you'll encounter is the casino. Let's go check it out.
As you walk through the casino, the next thing you'll come to is Grand View Bar, and it is indeed a Grand View. The Grand View Bar is situated right next to the Grand Central Theater, and you have that great glass open backdrop where you can see out into the ocean or into the beautiful island that you're ported at. As you continue through this section of the Grand Central Zone, you'll find plenty of little sit-in areas where you can sit down and take a break or where you can take in part of the show that's going on at that time. And next here in the Grand Central Zone on Deck 7 Mid, you come to some shopping. You have the Carnival Store and you also have Island Traders. As you continue from the front of Deck 7 to Deck 7 Mid, you come to another part of the Grand Central Zone. Let's discover what you'll find there. The Limelight Lounge is a super venue. Here you'll be able to take in some great comedy shows. And just outside the Limelight Lounge, you have the Alchemy Bar. The Alchemy Bar is one of the favorite of cruisers on the Carnival Mardi Gras to take in refreshments. As you continue past the Alchemy Bar, you have wonderful areas just to sit and hang out, enjoy refreshments, and just enjoy chatting with new friends. As you continue past those sitting areas, you come to another one of the great eating locations here on board Carnival Mardi Gras. That's the Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse. And just outside of Fahrenheit 555 Steakhouse, you have Dream Studio. There you can stop by and coordinate that perfect photo shoot. As you continue on to the very back of deck number seven, you come to Palm Restaurant. Palm Restaurant is the main dining room here on board Carnival Mardi Gras. Let's talk about deck number six. Like the other floors, we're gonna start at the front of the ship and work our way towards the back. So let's talk about the amazing spaces on deck number six. At the very front of deck number six, you have the Mardi Gras Theater. Now that can be a little bit confusing because you can come to the front of this and know that it's supposed to be here, but you don't really see it. At the very front of the staircase that you hear, you have Cloud Nine Fitness, and then you have the Cloud Nine Spa, but you see no sign for the Mardi Gras Theater. What you do is you go towards Cloud Nine Spa, take a left, and then you'll see a sign for Mardi Gras Theater. You'll follow a hallway in that direction. And before you know it, you'll be out into the main venue. Also on the front of deck number six, you have the Cloud Nine Spa. Let's go inside and check it out. Thank you. Thank you. Well, let's go. So nice. Everything is so bright. Is there? Right. Yeah, awesome. This is so awesome. Nice to have you on board. Right, right, right this way. So checking out the salon. So Kelly's gonna go ahead and give a pan around of the salon area. All right. This is the best salon staff on planet Earth, right here on the Carnival Mardi Gras. Right. The best. This an area. Relaxation area coming up here on the right. Over here. Okay. All right, so we can come in here. You get to come in here, chill out, prop those feet up after all of that shopping and all of that fun. Some of the best relaxation is a good cup of coffee, right? Or maybe a good cup of tea. So right over here, we've got all of that available for you. And it is nice, it is fancy, and you're gonna enjoy every last drop. All right, so let's go this way, see what else they got. All right, this way. And now, and now we have a couple massage rooms. Okay. Hi. So the massage rooms is coming next. Yes. This is my personal favorite. So let's come here and check this out. Look, I'm just relaxed walking by the door of this place. I couldn't imagine getting inside. So we got the massage beds. We've got a little relaxation place over there. We've got the hot tub here. So we have the doctor on board. So how are you, sir? Oh, amazing. How are you? All right. Great. So what all kind of services do you do in here? Oh, we do amazing treatments here. If you want to look 10 years younger, then I'm the person you want to come and see. All so, right. Yeah, the Sign me up. Oh, of course. <laughs> uh, and also, like, uh, when it comes to fine lines and wrinkles, I have the treatments for that also. So for the upper part of the Sign face. Sign me up again. Oh, it's deal. It's deal. We're, we're going to make something. Don't worry. Yeah. Uh, or what is this here? It's a sour. Sour and sour. Oh, OK. All right. Alright, alright. Oh, got you. It is the middle of summer right now. I'm sort of wishing I could just dive in that, but not now. I'm not quite in the right dress right now. So check this out, right? Just to lay back, 
So Kelly, you can pan around, but how relaxing is this? Just the sound of that water. Oh, awesome. Oh, cool. Yeah, I'm going to check this out. Here we go. Oh, yes. This is nice. Amazing. So look, if you get the opportunity to spend some time at the Cloud9 Spa during your cruise on the Carnival Mardi Gras, you have made a good decision and you're absolutely going to love it. And directly across from Cloud9 Spa, you have Cloud9 Fitness. It is a great fitness center. You can maintain those workouts while you're sailing on the seas. First thing we come to is Piano Bar 88. This is one of the absolute favorite among cruisers. If you're just wanting to lounge, have a good time, and just enjoy some good music, this is the place for you. Okay, I can't play the piano, but I promise you they will have somebody here that can and they will keep the room jiving. You'll have a great time. Also, on the front part of deck number six, you have the Punchliner Comedy Club. This is the main comedy club venue here on the Carnival Mardi Gras. Next we move to Deck 6 Mid. Deck 6 Mid is the lower level of the Grand Central Zone here on the Carnival Mardi Gras. The Grand Central Zone is the largest of the six special zones on the Carnival Mardi Gras. Let's go and check it out. The next thing you come to is Java Blue. Java Blue is one of the favorites here on the Carnival Mardi Gras. Great place obviously to come get a cup of coffee, but you can also pick up sandwiches on the go. Uh, great breakfast sandwiches, you can pick up fruit, all kinds of things, you'll want to check out Java Blue. Now the Java Blue is situated right next to the main level here of the Grand Central Theater. So sometimes you can come here, grab a cup of coffee, I'll spin around here, and you can take in whatever show is going on here, or just take the time to grab your cup of coffee and lounge in the great seating out here at the Grand Central Theater. And then if you happen to have a sweet tooth, as you continue past Java Blue, you come to the Cherry on Top store. Great place to grab some nice treats and candies. Maybe we should play a fun game of Bean Boozled tonight. That'll be great, right? I'm pretty sure I can think of a few other things better to do on a cruise. <laughs> what, you don't want to like have skunk rep? No, not really. Oh. Okay, we'll go on. And as you continue on, you come to Hip Fish Beauty and Fragrances and Accessories. Now let's move on to Deck 6 Aft. Deck 6 Aft begins with the French Quarter Zone. The French Quarter Zone is another one of the six special zones here on the Carnival Mardi Gras. Let's go and see what this zone has to offer. The very first thing you encounter when you walk in the French Quarter Zone of the Carnival Mardi Gras is the Brass Magnolia Bar. This place is exquisite. It's, it's magnificent. We're going to pan around and let you see. Kelly, what are you doing? We're trying to do a ship tour here. I am taking pictures of this amazing area. This has the coolest architecture, so let me take some pictures. Look, there is no lean down on the job here. <laughs> this is actually really cool. <laughs> and then, when you walk around the corner from the Brass Magnolia, you see this beautiful fortune teller bar. And just past the fortune teller bar, you see Emerald's Bistro. Emerald's Bistro is an amazing place to eat. If you like some New Orleans flavor, this is the place to go. Now, it is a specialty dining, so there's a little bit of an upcharge, but it's not too bad. So be sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you can follow the rest of our channel. We're going to be covering a lot of the specialty dining here on the Carnival Mardi Gras, and you don't want to miss it. So that is the final area that sort of closes out the French Quarter section that has that New Orleans theme. Also on Deck 6 Aft, you have Carnival Kitchen. Carnival Kitchen is a unique dining experience where you not only get to enjoy the great food, but you also get to participate in how it's prepared. Deck 6 Aft is also where you'll find the Flamingo Restaurant. The Flamingo Restaurant is often used by those that have your time dining. It's a little bit more of a laid back atmosphere and you can stop by here and have those wonderful meals. On the very front of deck number five, you do have portions of the Cloud9 Spa and the Cloud9 Spa Thermal Suite. However, those are to be accessed through deck number six. And the rest of what you have on deck number five is staterooms. Okay, deck number four. On the front section of deck four on the Mardi Gras, it is staterooms. 
That's also the case with Deck 4 aft. It is staterooms as well. One special thing to note about Deck 4, and that is that it is specially made for those that have children with them. So it has special features that helps families. The first thing you find here in Deck 4 Mid is the Family Harbor Lounge. Let's check it out. Now, one thing I love, Kelly, is, you know, you have these nice little sitting areas. I mean, it has the ideal of you have families between four to six to eight uh, people that's in that company. But in that little snack area, you know, you're down here, you're on deck number four, and uh, the small one gets the craving for, I want some cereal, I want some pizza. And you know, a lot of times you would have to go to the elevator, you'd have to go all the way up to the Lido deck or somewhere up there in order to get something, but, but not here. Mm -hmm. You just go down the hallway, you come in, you get them that cereal, you get them that fruit cup, whatever it is, and uh, you get to hang out right here. It's gonna yeah. save your feet so much. And, uh, and they, you'll have happy kids. And then you have Camp Ocean. So we're about to give you a tour of the Camp Ocean here on Carnival Mardi Gras. It is located here on deck number four, which is very convenient because we have the family harbor rooms, the family harbor lounge. Everything is just done up to help kids and families, that sort of thing. So we're gonna go through this now. I'm gonna start by going back through here, if we could, to the family room. So this is an area that you can go with your kids. You can read books and that sort of thing. So very cool. So look at this amazing space. You got all the fun colors. Kelly can pan around. Over here, it's getting set up now. We sell for the first selling tomorrow. There's gonna be all of these Dr. Seuss books around these cool seats. Look, I'm just wanting to like take these in myself right but you can come hang out with your kids here in this family area now camp ocean is divided into three different areas there's the penguin area for kids ages two to five there's the stingray area for kids age six to eight and then the sharks for those that are nine to eleven so let's start with those smalls we're going to come through here and we're going to look at that penguin area for those of you that have kids ages two to five it comes through to the right great very secure check-in process that you can do a lot of that online beforehand and then also uh, once you're here on ship um, but you come in here and look this is set up for all the smalls it's uh, got all the child proofing it's got all the soft uh, kind of uh, seating you've got the large TV to watch all kinds of shows and then you've got all these neat play centers over here from doll houses to toy boxes basketball some cooking all kinds of fun stuff and listen you better believe carnival has some great activity directors that are doing very cool fun and exciting things with your children okay so now we're gonna go check out the stingray area the stingray area is for kids ages six to eight so it's back around this way so we're gonna go check that out again everything is very secure got the nice wash up area place where they can place their shoes and then the fun begins. So we're gonna go around this way. And let's come back and let's check it out. Look at this amazing space. Now we're getting all the final setup, so we're not gonna mess with the workers doing the final setup, but look, we got for the TVs, all of that is set up. Back behind, they can have their stuffed animals. We'll come around the side here and they can do their own little dress up with the Build-A-Bear workshop. So all kinds of great activities and exercise uh, for, the, for the children to do. And look, I wish when I, I had one of these in my house. If I had a place that I was going to hang out and read a book or something, I think it could be in here, right? So all kinds of great spaces. And then I don't know about you, but uh, I'm sure they're gonna get some of their wiggles out uh, here in this room. So Kelly, go ahead and just give a pan around there to see this amazing room. So now we're gonna go look at the shark room. Shark is for kids ages nine through 11. So let's go through and check that out. Now, if you have kids ages nine to 11, there's one thing you know, they love video games. Well, the shark room is set up just for that. All along through here, you have all of these video game console setups. You have the seating back behind here. If you got some kids, they just wanna hang out. They've got that so they can watch the others. 
but you got video game consoles on this side as well. So this is set up. They're gonna love coming here. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is the beautiful Mardi Gras. We hope that you have enjoyed the ship tour. Please give us a thumbs up and comment in the section below what is your favorite part of the Carnival Mardi Gras.